Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna review the Aova Wheel ES7 e-scooter. This thing here is incredibly affordable and you get some really cool features and decent speed and range. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. But before we waste any time, let's get on the road and talk about it. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. We've got the Aova Wheel ES7. I'm out here riding because it's a beautiful day. This thing has some cool features and I wanna talk a little bit about them. So there's three riding modes on this thing. There's eco mode, which will get you 7.5 miles per hour, slow mode, 11 miles per hour, and then it has sport mode, which will get you 19 miles per hour. This scooter is equipped with a 350 watt motor. It has 8.5, so eight and a half inch tires. It gets you up to a 19 mile long range with double braking system and it has an app. Now the app's really cool. It's got some cool features on it as well. Uh, the battery does have the range, like I said, of 17 to 19 miles, depending on your weight and road conditions. Uh, it is pretty smooth, though I would not take this off-road. This is more of a kind of like a, a street scooter, even though it does have quadruple suspension. The tires are a little bit stiff, though, for off-road, so I wouldn't say it doesn't have a lot of grit on them. So it's more of a street bike, but it does absorb a lot of those bumps, which is really nice. So 19 mile per hour top speed, 19 mile range does have the 365 Go app. So if you do have that app, super cool app, you can actually manually adjust the speed on your scooter with that app as well. It is waterproof up to IP65, so keep that in mind that it is water resistant. I wouldn't ride this in a lake, obviously, but I could ride this and if it rains, you wouldn't have to worry about it. it does have pretty fast charging too at 45 hours. Uh, most scooters can be anywhere from the five to seven hour range to recharge it where this is pretty fast. So if you are taking this to work, you plug it in, you have a full charge when you get out of work, no problem. Even part-time jobs. I actually like the look of this. It's kind of a gray color. I know they have an all black model as well, um, but I really like the look of this one. It does have a real headlight, which I think is wonderful as well. Um, I do like to mount my cell phone so that I can track certain things and also uh, use the app, the 365 Go app. And so it has space on the handlebars where you could mount your cell phone onto it, which is a big deal for me. Uh, it has a one click folding design, which is awesome. It's super easy to fold down, really, really small. Um, like I mentioned before, the tires are pretty big at 8.5, but they don't have a lot of traction to them, but they're like punction, pr punction proof. They're like, they're a special type of tire. I don't know what it's exactly called. You can reach out to the manufacturer and ask them, but uh, supposedly compared to a normal tire, if you run over some gravel rocks, you could puncture it, whereas this thing is supposed to be uh, protected against that, which is really nice. It does have some good illuminated lights, some good brake lights as well uh, built into this. It does have just the one brake and it is a rear hub motor. So if you are looking for an e-scooter, Aova Wheel, it is, give, I give it a thumbs up. I think it's a great scooter. I had a lot of fun with it today. It's a beautiful day to ride. All right, pros and cons. Pros, price is great for what you get. 350 watt motor, got some pretty good tires. You do have the four times shock absorbers. Those are all great features. The easy folding design. Those are all pros on this design. Do like the lighting as well. I think the brake light, the warning light in the back is really bright, which I like. So if you are riding this at night or dusk, it works a little bit better. It does have fenders front and back. So there's a lot of pros to this scooter. Um, price definitely being one of them. The cons, there's always gonna be cons with any product that I review. In this particular one, the only real con that I have, uh, I would say is the deck. I just wish that it was a little bit wider. Um, it has a 265 pound weight. Most people over 200 pounds are going to have larger feet than what would fit on this scooter. This is considered an adult scooter. I think teenagers would have a lot of fun with this scooter. I think anybody that is a little bit smaller would have a lot of fun with this scooter. But my feet are pretty big for this. And I've reviewed a few other scooters that had bigger decks. I like that, but personally, that's just my opinion. Um, it, there is no conversion capability. Some scooters nowadays, you have the ability to add a seat to it. That's kind of a cool feature. This does not have that. So those are the only two things I would do differently, but I know when you start adding material like deck or seat, things like that, it starts getting very expensive and they wanted to keep the price down and they did a fantastic job with that. I think it's got a seamless design. It's got, it's, it's very sleek looking, very, very nice scooter. I have no complaints for this price range. I give it a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great day.